This is an electric vehicle. Under here is a standard EV battery that powers the electric motors and propulsion. But under the bonnet is a 12 volt battery, the type you would usually see in a petrol or diesel car. So what is this doing in an advanced electric vehicle? And does it offer garages an opportunity when it comes to servicing and maintenance? To find out, I'm speaking to Andy Waite from Ecobat Battery. So Andy, why is the 12 volt battery still relevant when it comes to electric vehicles? Electric vehicles are operating two different um, voltage systems, uh, typically over 400 volts for the for the propulsion side of the vehicle. Um, and then there's a low voltage system um, that runs a number of other systems um, that are actually critical and they need to be powered by a low voltage battery, typically a 12 volt battery. So the systems that they're running are safety systems. So in the event of a severe crash, um, the high voltage battery pack will shut down um, and all of the, to prevent a fire that is. Um, however, the 12 volt battery will remain active. Vehicle electronics um, are powered principally by the 12 volt system. And, and also for cost and compatibility, it's not practical, safe um, or cost effective for vehicle manufacturers to run DC-DC converters from the high voltage down to a low voltage system. And what type of batteries are EVs using? Are they lithium, AGM? There's a, there's a mixture really, um, depending on the, on the needs of that vehicle um, specifically. Um, Quite a lot of them still run standard lead acid batteries, typically 012, 027 type sizes, some are 063s, um, where there's a greater power requirement. Um, there's a lot of EVs and hybrid vehicles using AGM batteries. And then more recently, some of the manufacturers have started to adopt lithium technology. So notably, Tesla moved over to a, a 16 volt lithium battery um, for the low voltage systems in beginning of 2022. Is their use in an electric vehicle different in terms of the power requirements? Um, the demands of an electric vehicle are really quite different to internal combustion engine on the 12 volt battery. Um, traditional 12 volt batteries in internal combustion engine vehicles um, are used to crank a motor principally. So it's a very big power draw over a short period of time that's then topped back up by the by the alternator. Um, the usage in an electric vehicle is is really quite different. So it's much more of a cyclic need. It's taking a, a regular draw from the battery, um, and then it'll it'll replenish it from the from the high voltage battery. And when it comes to the life cycle as well, is there an impact because it's in an electric vehicle compared to internal combustion engine, for example? Um, we know that. 12 volt um, lead acid batteries don't like being discharged beyond 50%. Um, AGM gets over that to some extent. They'll tolerate being discharged to, to 80% without um, without causing solvation. So AGM is, is a good technology and has been widely adopted, um, but there are some moves to, to lithium as well. So does this provide an opportunity for garages, even if they're not EV specialists? Yeah, enormously. Um, the number one cause of vehicle breakdown in electric vehicles is exactly the same as it is in internal combustion engine vehicles. It's the 12 volt battery. That's what that's what they fail on. Um, there's different reasons for that. Um, there's lots of history and understanding around how 12 volt batteries work in internal combustion engine vehicles it's somewhat different in electrical vehicles that the technology is much newer and the demands on that battery um, are still being understood um, and they do typically fail quicker than you would expect on an internal combustion engine vehicle so yeah the opportunity for the aftermarket is enormous do technicians need to do anything different with a battery that's in an electric vehicle? Um, these batteries are, are very often seen as a service item, really. Um, when it comes to replacing those batteries um, by the workshops, they're not particularly difficult to do. It's always worth workshops going through some safety training to understand 
um, how to safely work on electric vehicles. Um, and there's lots of providers out there. And when it comes to 12 volt battery in electric vehicles or any other vehicles, what's the one piece of advice that you would give garage owners and technicians? Yeah, it's a simple message and it's a message that's been repeated by every battery supplier and battery manufacturer uh, for, for many, many years now, and that's to test the battery. Test the battery of every vehicle that comes into the workshop. And the reason for doing that is only growing in importance. Um, so if you've got a customer's vehicle coming in for service, MOT, repair, it's always worth taking a few minutes to test the vehicle battery for its condition. All great information. Andy, thank you so much for joining me. Very welcome. Thanks very much, Phil. So the 12 volt battery is going to be around for some time yet, even with car makers pushing for new powertrain technologies in order to lower their overall emissions. And if you want to find out more about EcoBat's range, then simply visit www.ecobatbattery.com or scan the QR code on this video. Thanks for joining us.